Welcome back everybody, this is Crazy Walder bringing you another one of my little how-to videos. So right here in front of you I've got a late 2011 MacBook Pro and what I'm going to talk to you about today is how to connect it to two external displays. So in this case, you know, my two Asus monitors I've got here. Now I don't have a second DVI cable on hand, however, what I am going to show you is basically a little device that allows me to run my potentially second monitor with this Mac which is just simply a USB to DVI little device so as you can see right here I've got this diamond device over here it's uh, I'll have the link to the device in my description so all it really does is just take your USB signal and then it runs the video over that into the DVI and then into your monitor so essentially what this allows you to do is taking your regular USB port and turning it into a video output kind of uh, throughput. Now you do have obviously still a mini DVI to DVI jack which means that you can connect another monitor using completely lag free pass through through DVI. Now with this particular um, setup you're going to see some refresh issues because obviously USB 2.0 cannot support the high resolutions that this MacBook is able to output specifically as you can see right now it is sitting at 1920 by 1080 so of course there's going to be some sort of input lag now there isn't too much to be quite honest um, I found that I'm able to do a lot of stuff fairly quickly you know it moves nice and fast no issues there but of course if you do have a retina Mac you don't need this sort of device or you could easily get yourself a USB 3.0 device and extend that even further you know you could have potentially like three or four monitors connected to that particular Mac so with this it's just a really nice way to speed up your workflow you know do a lot more stuff because you're gonna have extra real estate screen wise so it's it's a really nice little tool now potentially you could also do something very similar using Google's Chromecast device now I'm not sure exactly how to set that up those of you who are a bit more tech savvy, you might be able to figure this out now. On my particular device over here, let me get my mouse back, see if I can find it here. All I do is I just tell it to go to the Chromecast, and then you hit this little menu here, and it says Cast Entire Screen. Select your Chromecast device, and then boom, you say yes. Now, let me go ahead and switch my input here over to HDMI. and as you can see it's currently casting the two screens that I have going and if I disconnect my DVI cable right now it's gonna go back to the single screen which is just quite simply my Mac screen now on the Chromecast device you're going to see quite a bit of lag because it is unfortunately pushing a really high bitrate signal over your Wi-Fi network so if your Mac doesn't quite have a very fast connection or if there's some sort of long distance between the two you're going to see some serious input lag and as you can see the screen moves very slowly in comparison to what's happening on my Mac screen so it's obviously not one for one but if you're able to get your Chromecast going with two monitors you know kudos to you and that's one way to do it and this has been just one really short instructional video on how to get your Mac set up with a couple of screens thank you guys for listening in and I'll see you in my next video